All right, check this thing out. So I've been using this in my shed for the past few weeks. I've been trying to get it to fail. So I did one test where I turned on my table saw, I turned on my air compressor, and I turned on my vacuum all at the same time just to try to overload this thing. I couldn't do it. This thing is impressive. It, it's it's pretty big, uh, 2,400 watts. I've tested out a bunch of portable power stations and it's really cool to see the improvements that are being made from just about five years ago and you can see a lot of them on this. Now, this was sent to me so I could test it out and make this video. And I kind of want to walk you through how I've been using this and some of the things I really like about it. The first thing I like about it, as I mentioned, 2400 watts, you can power a lot of things all at the same time with this power station. It even has a 30 amp outlet on the side. That's really cool. And it has the capability to expand to different units. So if you need even more power, you can and add multiple units together to get up to 11 kilowatt hours. Another really cool thing about this power station is this can charge really, really fast. You can charge it from zero to 80% in just about 30 minutes. That is incredible. And what's even more cool about this and unique to this power station that I've never seen on any other power station is it actually has a switch. So if you want to do fast charging, you can. If you don't want to do fast charging, you can just move the switch to do normal normal charging. It's really nice that it has that switch on the unit itself. You can also set that in the app. For me personally, I don't like to do fast charging most of the time. I usually don't need it, but it's nice that I have that ability. If ever I need to charge it all the way really quick, I know I can do that. Really cool feature. Most of the time when I use power stations, I use it in my shed. I use it for power tools and stuff like that. So I have it charging via solar. A cool thing about this power station is it has a really high input for solar. You can can charge with solar and AC at the same time. If you want to do it separately with AC power, you can charge up to 1800 watts and with solar, you can charge up to 1200 watts. I have an electric bike and I like to use my power stations to charge the bikes. So with me hooking up these two solar panels, I can actually charge the unit while I'm charging my bike at the same time. Another cool thing about this power station is it does come with an app. So you can use the app to see what the input is and the output. You can also use the app to change various settings. For example, you can put the unit into standby mode. One thing to be aware of, if it is in standby mode, it's actually going to discharge some of the power. So the way I use it, is I charge it during the day and then at night when it's not charging, I don't want it to use up any power. So I don't put this in standby mode. And when you have this mode turned off, you have other options that you can automatically start and stop the power station. So this is great for cases like mine where I know I only want it on during the day when the solar panels are charging it and I want it off at night when it's not getting any charge. So I'm not wasting any power. It's really cool that it provides all these options through the app. Aside from these unique features that it has, it also has all the standard features you would see on any other portable power station. You've got a few AC outlets, you've got USB, USB-C charging. Then on the other side, you've got AC charging and solar charging. I'm really impressed with this power station. It has a lot of power, very useful for your home for emergency reasons. If your power ever goes out, you can use it to power the refrigerator, microwave. You can do both of those at the same time. If you need to turn on lights, you can plug in lamps or different lights to that. For me, I use it mostly for power tools out in my shed. I really like to make fruit leather. So I've recently been turning fans on and putting fruit leather in my shed that's nice and hot and using the power station to power the fans. It works great for that. And if you just need something for emergency backup, this thing is perfect. It uses LifePo4 batteries, so it's going to last for a long time. It can last up to about 4,500 cycles. Just a really good portable power station. 